Horizon, and welcome back to Gemini Jets 2006. I know it's been a while. Um, there hasn't really been much to post on, but for Christmas, I got two planes, uh, two special planes. And um, they both came a little bit late. Here, let me raise the camera up. But this one came earlier. Uh, just next one should be coming tomorrow for me, and this video I hope is going to be going up the same day. Um, but this is the brand new Gemini Jets release. I'm pretty sure I'm the only one on YouTube. First one on YouTube, I mean. Um, I haven't seen anyone by just looking for it, so, um, I'm not sure someone else might have made it and it's just not showing up, but I'm pretty sure I'm the first person to review this or post a video. Um, this is the new Gemini Jets, uh, Antenna 124-100 and the Volga Dnepr livery. Um, so let's start off with the box. Starting off with the front of the box. Top left corner Gemini Jets, made for collectors by collectors. Uh, computer generated image of the plane in the middle. Antonov 124-100, logo at the bottom. Volga Dnepr logo. For those uh, people who don't know, this is the same company as Airbridge Cargo. Um, I think Airbridge Cargo is just, they named it um, to be more Western. Their subsidiary, but you can tell that it's a very similar paint scheme. Um, you need to look inside tab. Is the information you can pause it right there if you want. And then here is the stats. And then here is the plane in there. Um, this is a little bit of a tear. I did this. This isn't uh, this didn't ship like this. It was fine when it came. I took it out of the box earlier and I put it back in the box for this video. And this just uh, came out while I was putting it back. Um, but moving on to the side. Gemini Jets, 1 to 400 scale die cast model. Antenna of 124 100 in the little picture. Gemini Jets, adult collectible model. Same thing on the back. On this side, just the uh, standard Gemini Jets um, back of the box and an image of the aircraft climbing. And the top and bottom of the box, both are the same, pretty much the same. 1 to 400 that just lists their. Uh, usual features. Um, so let's open the box, see what's inside. Okay, so just ignore this uh, white box at the back. That's just uh, hiding some stuff that I'm working on over here. Um, let's open the box. So like all Gemini Jets, just pull it out from the bottom, reach under here, and pull this out box to the side, and then you slide this plastic cover off. Yeah, there's some evidence that it's already been taken off before. You can kind of see the plastic is coming off with it. That's the top half off. There is the plane. Let's pull it out. And there is the Gemini Jets Antonov 124. Um, so I am filming this sideways because the lighting in my room is kind of bad uh, right now, but um, that's why it's all sideways, that's why the plane's over there. Um, but starting with, let's start with the side of the plane. At the front nose section, antenna 124-100, um, windshield, real life, I believe it's 10, no, I, I think it's 10 meters off the ground, don't quote me on that. 10 or 20 meters off the ground. Uh, Volga Dnepr logo, and the, uh, under, what does that say? And their website, www.volgadnepr.com. Moving back, these wings are very big, um, and just like the real one, they kind of droop down to the ground. They're actually very low on that side. Let me get a GSC. They might not even fit under there. Yeah, that GSC just barely fits under the tip of that wing. Um, moving back, we have the escape door for the main cabin. That's where the crew would stay. Um, and then registration, Romeo Alpha 82078. Um, there's the Volga Dnepr logo in Russian. Um, and then moving back further, there's another door. There are the uh, elevators, red tips, 
and the vertical stabilizer there with the uh, Volga Dnieper logo and the Russian flag. Let's spin it around to the other side. On this side, you can see same thing, Volga Dnieper, um, Antonov 124. And there is a little tag that's the rescue tag. Yeah, it just says rescue, and I think that also says rescue in Russian. One thing I'm kind of disappointed with this model is the uh, just how big the seams are. I get these are really big wings, and there's not really any other way they could have attached it, but it's just so thick. Um, moving back, this is pretty much identical. Russian at the back. Uh, escape door, main door, vertical stabilizer with the Russian flag, and elevators. Uh, looking at it from the back, I'm going to have to kind of put my camera below my table because it's so low. There you can see it's very wide. The uh, whole uh, whole door is shown there. Um, the nose door nor the uh, tail door open. Nothing opens. There are no doors. Uh, moving to the front of the aircraft. One thing I noted, for me at least, this is kind of wobbly. So I just had to kind of push it back, this antenna right here. Um, looking at it head on, you can kind of see the way that it comes out by the wings. It gets really wide right here. Um, and right here too, you can see it. It doesn't look like the uh, cockpit was actually made for an aircraft of that size. Um, then looking at it from the bottom. Um, there we go. From the bottom, you can see the uh, full landing gear. One, two, three, four, five, ten rear landing gear, two forward landing gear, Volga the Nepper logo. They also have the uh, little kind of dip uh, that's seen on the real Antonov 124 right there. Moving back, it's mostly just plain gray. Uh, the Gemini Jet Smaller is, l or uh, I mean the Gemini Jet's logo is smaller than usual. Uh, hole for a stand. Um, these would be exhaust ports. Um, door, rear cargo doors. Looking at the wings, four engines, uh, close to the fuselage. Um, they do have a small interior. They do not spin. And each engine says Volga Dnieper on it. Um, and just some things to note, this landing gear does not spin. And also, unlike most Gemini Jets, it does look a little bit lower quality. Usually they're made out of rubber, but I suppose if they're going to do a bunch of them, the cheaper option would be plastic. Yeah, because that's probably just a specialized piece with plastic. Because the forward landing gear is made of rubber. Um, but the forward landing gear still does not spin. Um, and I know um, I, didn't, I don't have a ruler on me right now. So I have some other things for scale. Um... First, um, this is GSE, just a pushback tug next to the uh, 124. You can see it would, let's see, yeah, you can see there it could easily fit inside of it. Um, move it back. Uh, let's take this, the 737, I know the most common plane in the world. Actually, I think A320 passed it that record. Um, here, there's a 737 next to it. So just the uh, 124's fuselage is almost as tall as the 737's vertical stabilizer. That's pretty cool. Um, and then, let's get a larger aircraft. Um, A330. There you can see the uh, cockpit is just above the uh, top of the fuselage for the A330. This is the Dash 300 A330. And then I'm gonna show the biggest plane that I own. Um, I wanna get some A380s, or uh, not some, but at least a A380. Um, I just haven't gotten around to getting that. So the biggest one I have for now is a 747-8. These are surprisingly close, and it looks like the 747-8 is actually taller. Um, than the Antonov 124 and it, the vertical stabilizers look almost the same height uh, which is interesting 
Um, wingspan wise, if I can hold the 747 above it. Um, uh, in real life, it does definitely, I think it's four, four foot longer wingspan Antonov has than the 747. Um, I'm not really sure how well that's portrayed here. Um, lengthwise, if I line up the vertical stabilizers or the, uh, elevators at the back, the 747-8 is longer, which I believe is accurate. I believe. I'm pretty sure 747-8 is the longest aircraft in the world. Um, and just one more point of scale. I'm gonna, here is an American penny next to the aircraft. Just like that. And here is an American quarter right next to the aircraft. Get your penny out of the way. This is an American quarter compared to the aircraft. It is very thick, very chunky, you can see from the top. It's very, very wide. Um, I don't know exactly the weight. I don't have a... Uh, I don't have a scale with me or anything. Um, this is my first cargo aircraft. I'm very pleased with it. It's uh, very clean. Um, I have noticed a little bit that there is some... Um, Gemini just recently seems to be having more paint smearing. Actually, no, I think that is intentional. But there definitely is some paint smearing. Um, and I do notice that the uh, parts on this aircraft definitely stand out, the creases, and uh, all around each bit. It's very noticeable. Um, but overall, I'm very glad that this is my first cargo aircraft. Um, tomorrow, I'm going to be getting a, another plane, and hopefully I can get this video up the same day that I film it. And hopefully I can get the video for uh, my next plane up the same day that I get it. Um, but anyway, this has been uh, my review of the Gemini Jets Antonov 124, the uh, new January 2021 release, or uh, I think it was December 2020, actually. Um, so thank you for watching. Um, make sure to like and subscribe, and see you later.